Hello everybody, my name is Hunter, and welcome back to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And we're in here, back with the 3 star cup challenge. Uh, I just got done recording the last video, and I'm just going to keep it rolling. Uh, I just finished the banana cup here. Um, as you can see, we unlocked Prancer. And we're just going to continue with our standard cart, just because it's been treating us pretty well. Once I get pipe frame, I'm definitely changing to pipe frame, but for now, that's it. And in the last one, I said that every bottom row cup, every track is a throwback. And I believe that's true for at least the base game tracks. You've got four throwbacks here, four throwbacks here. And then the added ones, you have two of each. So... I was, I was right for the most part until you get to the DLC tracks from the original Mario Kart 8. They were DLC, but they come with the deal, deluxe game. So, all right, let's get into the Leaf Cup here, and we're starting off with Wario Stadium, I believe. Uh, from I think it's in the DS. I might be wrong. No, it's probably. No, that is the DS. Okay. And. Uh, I must say, I always love the stadium, Waluigi Stadium, Wario Stadium, both great. Uh, gives you like, Demolition Derby, slash like, um, Daredevil vibes to it. With like the flaming obstacles and like the, fl right here, like this gives you daredevil vibes and I always liked it and now with the new Mario Kart stuff you can do stuff like that with changing your I don't even know what they call that like the going on the sidewalls you, you guys know what I'm talking about so that combined with this, the the stadium in the back with a crowd cheering sometimes and the, the nice, like, upbeat music. Very good track. Um, I'm gonna rank it a 9 out of 10, I think. It's not a 10. Just because there's special tracks in my heart that deserve a 10. And there will be a couple. I think I might have one this video. And I'm getting walloped and they're coming this is not i did not have a good enough lead for getting hit twice in a row there there's bros gold peach our greatest friend in this game it's always rose gold peach and i do know that the game picks certain characters to be your rival depending on what character you pick so it only makes sense that mario metal mario's um Rival, quote unquote, will be Rose Gold Peach just because they're one and the same. Why couldn't that have waited? Oh, okay, I got it anyway. That's okay. And it's me and Rose Gold Peach in the front. I'm waiting for someone to hit her or her to fall back. But not happening. And I'm gonna win handily there. She was getting close, but I pulled away at the end. All right, next we got Sherbet Land from uh, GameCube, which would be Double Dash, I believe. Ice tracks. In terms of uh, of all the ice tracks I've ever done. This one isn't in, on the top of my list. I can think of probably two that I like more than this one off the top of my head. And there's nothing wrong with this one. I'm not saying it's bad. But it's definitely not going to get like a 8, 9, or 10 rating for me. Just because it's not the best snow track in my personal opinion. And that doesn't include 
like mountain snow. That just includes flat snow tracks. Maybe in this game, I don't really remember there being another flat snow track in this game. I'm sure there is because every track seems to be in this game at this point, but um, this, the music is almost Christmassy, which I guess. It's it's very holiday with the bells and stuff. I just took out both of those with one one bomb there. Um I don't know. I'll give it a six. It's it's good. It's just not great. We're way ahead on this one. I haven't even really been hit because I've had protection the whole game. I didn't, I didn't get coins for items for once, and I don't know how you get that shortcut, quote unquote. I'm assuming you go underwater and come out over there instead of on the normal side of the track. But there's a, a ramp with a speed boost there. I guess that's how you get that. I'm not messing around with going underwater if I don't have to. I know here you just come back up at the at the end of this, I believe. Yeah, right there you come back up, so. Not bad. Uh, maybe I'd like the track better if I went underwater. <laughs> but I feel like it's definitely worse to go underwater, so I'm just not going to. And I guess we can see here. Yeah, that does take you to the boost. But I don't think it's quicker, so. Alright, next up is Music Park from 3DS, and I really do like this track, and I remember this one from 3DS specifically, as being one of the better tracks in, in that game from Mario Kart 7. Um, the music in this track is actually phenomenal, and the fact that you interact with the music by driving gives it extra points for me as any other track that interacts based on where you're driving. Um, I don't know what else to say about this track, honestly. It's just a good track. I like it a lot. Uh, it's not good enough to earn a 10 in my book, and I will never do that again. It's not good enough to earn a 10, but I'm definitely giving this a 9. It's fun. It's a good idea. It's, I believe, the first time they did it like this. And I like it. I like the different sounds of the piano. Like, well, I guess it's not a piano. Uh, whatever that would be. It's almost like a xylophone. I guess... Wouldn't that be a xylophone? I don't know. It's... It's shaped like a piano, but it sounds like a xylophone. But I do like the different sounds. Like, the first one's definitely a piano. And then the second and third one... Are xylophone sounds. Because of the... This one's wood. And it sounds like... A wood xylophone, and this one's a metal xylophone sounding. It's just, I don't know, I really like it. I like cool music things. I'm not like a band geek. I was never in band, and I was never into that kind of music really, but I don't know. It's just a, a cool thing in this game I really enjoy. So yeah, 9 out of 10, easy clap. And uh, we're on to the last track of this cup. So let's see what it is. Yoshi Valley from N64. This is a great track. Uh, it's got different pathways that you can take. Um, as you can see on the minimap on the right side, it's a mess. Because you can, you can go so many different ways. And I don't remember 
which way is the fastest, but I do know that there is a fastest route. And I believe I remember going to the left first on these. So... I am... I don't know, I'm just kind of going off of, it, of my gut instinct. I've driven on these tracks a lot in this game on my other count, but... Um, I like the music just like any other track in this game pretty much. The um, scenery isn't too crazy, it's just kind of mountainous. It's uh, Yoshi's Island scenery. And um, the driving part of the track though, I do really like. I like the different, the different uh, paths that you can take. Many different decisions, and yeah, I have nothing else to say other than that. That big egg right there is pretty iconic to me. Um, I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten, based on mostly the fact that it's a multiple choice track. That's what you want to call it. And we have a blue shell coming, but it's not going to matter. So. It will kind of matter if I don't get something else for protection, but even still, I'm way ahead. You can see Rose Gold Peach way behind. Really? I could have probably made it, but I didn't want to get squished. And easy enough. There was a blue shell coming, but they didn't get it off in time. That's going to be another easy three star, and I'm just tearing up the track now. Um, after the last video, when I screwed up on Cheeseland, I haven't really made many mistakes since. So Leaf Cup, definitely three starred. Easy peasy. And another cool trophy. I wanna start looking at these trophies a little more. Get off my screen. It is uh, Tanuki on the back and the tail on the front because for those of you who don't know, the Tanuki tail comes from the Leaf power up in the game. In the original what was that, Mario 3? Super Mario 3 or Super Mario World? One of those two? Two we unlocked. Nothing good enough for me to use yet. Waiting on that pipe frame cart. And now it's the Lightning Cup. And this is number 10, I believe. So this will put us at 10 out of 72. By the end of the video, we'll be at 11. And eventually, in one of these videos, I'll throw in an extra one, just so I can kind of make it an even 3... 3 number, because... Uh, eventually, I'm gonna have to throw an extra one in anyway. Because I'm not going to do a video with just one cup. But then again, I might suffer a lot of failures in 200cc. Especially on some of the DLC dash pass. Whatever the heck it's called. I don't think it's dash pass. That's the DoorDash subscription name. Um, but whatever it's called. The extra 12 cups. I'm probably going to suffer some failures on those. So, just a fair warning, some of those videos might only be two tracks long. Or, two tracks. Two cups long. Or just a whole session of me failing and then you guys have to watch me fail over and over again. Anyway. Uh, TikTok clock. 
is the name of this one, I believe, from the original DS one. And I remember playing this all the way back when the DS game came out. And I like, I love this track. Another great concept. And the scenery has been improved since the first one. And I love the scenery to begin with, but it's just amazing. And uh, the driving is good. The, I like the moving objects. The moving floor is a great, great touch as well. Um, all the additions of like certain clock parts and stuff, all good. And honestly, the music's good. And this is going to be the first 10 out of 10 that I give. Uh, TikTok Clock is a great track. That's all I have to say about it. Next up, we got Piranha Plant Slide from 3DS. And, um... This track is tough. On 150cc, it's gonna be a little tough. On 200cc, it's a, a doozy. And I'm already getting hit. How? I don't know. But, sure enough, I'm already getting smashed. And this turn in particular is the one that makes this track so tough. That sharp turn inside of 90 degrees is tough to make. You have to break at 200cc. There's no, there's no option to not break. And also, here, it's very hard to control yourself and gain control off of the the glider as soon as the glider lets go you kind of have like a, a split second delay before you can get your car to turn the way you want it to so you're kind of stuck going forward before you can start making a turn and you see there even I had to I had to break because that turn is so sharp um, this one has some of the harder turns in the game. Oh my god. Why did I do that? Yeah. What I was talking about, right here, you come off of the, the glider, right? But then, when you drift, it takes a second for you to really cut. So you... You're kind of stuck breaking there, too. It's really hard to get a fast turn on that. As well as right there, when you first come into the, the water, it's another fast turn. You just have to, you have to break on. And there I had to break again, on that turns. But I took it too hard. And then here comes everything. Might as well just stay here. Here comes Rhodes Gold Peach too. Is this the last? No, this is only the second track. How is a star power getting to first place that shouldn't even be possible all right I need items bad that's not gonna help me too much depending on how close they are okay I missed that but I was far enough ahead that I didn't need to, to use it anyway um I'm gonna give that one a 7 out of 10 it's really difficult though so it's enjoyable. Grumble Volcano. This sparked a someone famous on YouTube would call a revolution of shortcuts in Mario Kart Wii. Um, for those of you who don't know, there was a, there was a infamous, I guess, not really infamous, but famous shortcut on Rumble Volcano that allows anyone to basically tie the world record or snatch it by, you know, a tenth of a second or a hundredth of a second. And I will show you where it is. And I don't believe it's possible in this game or else I, they had to get rid of it now, but 
It was only made possible because of the way checkpoints worked in that game. And it was on that cliff to the right where the question mark block was. Sorry, not right. The, the cliff to the left of the, the finish line where the question mark block is. You could drive around that small, like, mountainous formation three times as if it were the track. And it would count all three of your laps as long as you could get up there and you would finish the race in, you know, 10 seconds. And that's, that spawned a revolution of people deep diving the games, checkpoints on every track, and learning how to abuse them. Which is one of the greatest things that ever happened in this game. Um, and not only that, really, I got, oh my god, I might lose, come on, come on, you gotta be kidding me, there's nothing I can do about that, uh huh. Um, besides that, I love this track as well. Um, very nostalgic for me because it's on the Wii. And I'm showing a little bias here. But it's tough because everything falls into the lava. It gets harder progressively. The music is bumping. And I'm going to give this one a 10 as well. Great track. I, I love Grimble Volcano. The scenery is cool, too. Everything about it is just a great track. I love it. And now we have N64 Rainbow Road, which is arguably better than the current Rainbow Road in this game. This, this cup is fantastic throughout. And the scenery for this one is awesome as well, which I haven't, I never noticed until now, but there's a whole town underneath of you. You're above basically a little city. The train is cool. That wasn't in the, the original N64, I don't believe. And it definitely didn't spew out coins because I don't think coins existed. And it definitely didn't wobble up and down because that also didn't exist because tricks didn't exist back then. But, um, this is a great track. It's a great rendition of an old classic track. Holy crap, is that hard to, to jump off of. But it's a great rendition of an old classic. And, um, uh, I have nothing wrong with this track. It's definitely shorter than some other Rainbow Road tracks, but I'm okay with it because it doesn't need to be long to be good. A lot of the newer Rainbow Roads are so long and like drug out. I'm gonna give that one an 8 out of 10. Another good track. And uh, that cup is one of the best cups in this game. If not the best. And I just restarted pretty easily too. So. Okay. I'll take that as well. Not as interesting of a trophy as some of the other ones we've had. But. Good nonetheless. So we've got two more on the first page. I'm gonna get slick tires. I don't want those either. We have the Triforce Cup and the Bell Cup. And to start off the Triforce Cup might be another 10. And actually, I'm almost positive that it is a 10 for me. One of the best tracks ever. Wario's Gold Mine. From the Wii. Again, showing my bias a little bit, but 
Warriors Gold Mine is an amazing track. It makes perfect sense to be Warriors track. It's a gold mine. The this music is awesome. Let it be known. Some of the best Mario Kart music ever. And it doesn't give you Wario vibes. But I don't care. Because this music is is great. And uh, with this version of Wario's Gold Mine, you can actually hit the the uh, minecarts. And they give you a little speed boost because they have the, the spinny thing on them. Another great addition of new Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Well, I guess Mario Kart 8. No, this would be it. Was, this would be a deluxe version, but another good addition to an old track. But it didn't need to be done. Why Why just go mine to begin with was good, but it's just an extra thing that is good. However, it does make it a little bit easier, I guess. to throw that I forgot I had three shell or three bananas there. And I'm way ahead again, so once again getting hit by blue shell is not gonna hurt me. I'm not sure if I unlock gold Mario from just beating 150 CC or if I have to be 200 and mirror as well. I hope I have to be all of them because I don't want to go through all this with Gold Mario and then I have to change my thumbnails because all the thumbnails that I use for Super Mar uh, for Mario Kart are Gold Mario in this game. Um, where is Gold Mines at ten? I already said it, but I'm saying it again. 10 out of 10. One of the best tracks in this game. And we have another Rainbow Road this this video. And um, this one's not going to get a high rating for me. I've never enjoyed this Rainbow Road. And they always add it. And I'm sick of playing it. Because it's in every Mario Kart game ever. And it's, it hasn't changed much since... Since, I don't know, DS? Was this in DS? If it wasn't, then it was in Wii, and it hasn't changed since then. Except maybe the music. I'm gonna throw this. I'm trying to get a lead. And the, the stomping of the thwomps doesn't do that much and it's only kind of annoying more than actually helpful so it's another thing that they could just not do but this this whole track is just unnecessary to me it's kind of lame like we already have multiple rainbow roads in this game and you add this one And I fell off there. Because I went for that mushroom that I should have Alright, we got some work to do. Okay, we're getting pulverized now. And I shouldn't have talked trash on this course because it's gonna now be the death of me. And of course, Iggy, I think that's his name, stole my item. I'm back to second. And back to first. Here comes a rear, uh, blue shell. Knock me back out first. In a terrible spot. That was a great throw. 
That's what a pro Mario Kart player does right there. They make plays, and I just did it. Save my game. Save my run. Save me from having to go back and do it all over again. Screw that track. 1 out of 10. Stop adding it to Mario Kart games. Alright, now we have two new tracks. Quote unquote new. New to this game. And I don't remember what this one was called already. Ice Ice Outpost or something like that. Um The music's nice, I guess. But I think I say that about almost every track in this entire game. Because I'm gonna be real with you. The music in this game is phenomenal. I'm gonna say it over and over again. I know I've said it a lot already. But whoever was in the studio cooking up Mario Kart track music was is a freaking genius. I know they have like orchestras that do Nintendo music because I know for Super Mario Galaxy they had an orchestra do a lot of stuff. There was a lot of violin included. A lot of that kind of music and uh, yeah I know that was like that's a thing so I'm assuming they have like I know they have composers but they probably have like professional composers that are that don't have anything to do with with gaming people that are hired for Nintendo just to make music and they do a great job and they've only gotten better I think like if you remember back everybody knows the Mario theme song from the original Super Mario Brothers dun -dun 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 -dun. and they put so many twists on just that and they made it so much better over the years and, and that's not even including all the new stuff they made since then. The music in Super Mario Odyssey was amazing. The music in Super Mario Galaxy was amazing. The music in... I don't know. Any Mario game in the last 15 years has been phenomenal. Anyways, enough about rambling. That that track's a five out of ten. Nothing nothing special for me, honestly. I could take it or leave it. It was boring enough for me to talk about music the whole time. And now we have the uh, the staple of this cup. Um, what gives it its name? Hyrule Circuit, Legend of Zelda track, and this is the first of its kind for sure. Um. I never thought I'd see a Legend of Zelda track in a Mario Kart game, but here we are. A little crossover action going on. And Petey Piranha is giving me the work this this run. I don't know what I did, but he's on, on something. And Rose, Rose Gold Peach is in this game, and even she's not giving me the work that Petey is giving me. Um, this, this course actually drives really nice. It's got good twists and turns. And, uh, it's, it's challenging on 200cc for sure. Especially right in that last section that I just completed with the, the snaking, like, turns there. Definitely challenging. Um, I found myself wanting to break on 150cc. And I think I might have a little there. Um... I've never been a huge fan of Legend of Zelda, so I couldn't tell you what I really like think about the scenery and whatnot on this track. But for someone who's outside of it, I don't mind it. And the music is great, by the way. Did I mention that this game has great music? But this this track put a rock spin on Legend of Zelda music and boy oh boy 
Did they, did they hit the mark on this one? And they changed everything to gems, you know. They changed everything to be, to fit Legend of Zelda. The coins are gems instead of coins. And I couldn't get that middle to open up at all. I think I didn't do it right. It's alright. I'm getting, getting hit. PD's coming after me too. And I get a coin again. Oh boy. It's so I come down to the wire. No, it's not. Okay. Whew, getting out of there. A little tight at the end, but not bad. Um, Hyrule Circuit, I'm going to give a 7 out of 10. Solid. I don't... I like driving on it. And I think... Was that the third cup already? I have to go back and look, but I think that was three. Yeah, Leaf. And then Lightning. And now the Triforce Cup. And we just smoked six cups in a row in, in my time, but you're seeing it three, three at a time. But um, let me just go go in there and look. 150 CC. Let's see what we unlocked. More wheels, more useless. Yeah, we did today. We did uh, Leaf, Lightning, and Triforce Cup. So, um, I have 13 more. I've got all these. And it's gonna be a long journey. And don't forget, I have all of these. In 150. And then I have to go back and do it all again. Two more times. In Mirror and in 200cc. But, uh, as you can see... We are getting completion for 50 and 100, so. Just in case you're wondering. And uh, off screen, I'm definitely going to back out and back in of the menu. So I unlock all of my customization stuff, but that'll be between this video and the next video, so. I won't bother you guys with that. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this one. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure you leave a like. Uh, leave a comment down below. Uh, suggestions of games you want me to play or thoughts on this series and uh, subscribe for more content like this ring the bell for notifications from my channel and I'll see you in the next one